everyone. Welcome back to Fun on the Farm. I'm Farmer Jared. Today we're out at Kirtland Farms, which is my home farm. I farm here with my dad, Tim, and we milk 300 dairy cows on our farm. Our farm is a little bit unique in the fact that we utilize a lot of technology and robotics to feed, care for, and milk our cows. Today we're going to be looking at some of those specific pieces of technology, like our robotic milkers, our automatic feed pusher, and the collars that our cows wear to track their activity. This right here is our automatic feed pusher. What this does is every hour throughout the day and night, it slowly works its way down through our barn and pushes the feed closer to the cows. Every morning at 6 a.m. we come out and we feed our cows. We feed them once a day and that feed will last until the following day when we feed them again. What happens as cows eat feed, they kind of push it away from themselves as they try and sort through and pick at the ingredients that they want the most. What this feed pusher does is it goes down through the barn and it pushes the feed back closer to the cows. It helps prevent them from sorting through the feed and eating just the ingredients that they want and also it helps keep the feed at a spot where they could eat it in the middle of the night when the pile is a little bit smaller in front of them. What this allows us to do is not have to come out every hour and push the feed up close to them with our skid loader. So it cuts down on the amount of emissions that we have from running a piece of equipment and it also makes sure that cows have feed in front of them 24 hours a day. Right now you can see that this uh, feed pusher crashed into the wall right here. It's a machine, technology, sometimes it falls off the, the rails a little bit. What I can actually do in order to get it back on track is use my phone and drive it with my phone. So I'm coming in here now to my phone and driving this like a remote control car, but my phone is the remote. I can turn it around now and drive it to where it needs to go so that way it doesn't crash into the wall. And then next hour, when it goes to run again, it'll be back in the spot that it needs to be. When it's not in operation, it is parked at the charging station where the battery is charging uh, around the clock while it's not in operation. One very unique thing about our barn, and the way we like to refer to it as, is, is being a smart barn. Uh, what that means is that we utilize a lot of different pieces of technology to care for our cows and make sure that they stay comfortable all year round. One unique thing is that we have a weather sensor at the top of our barn that detects the wind speed, temperature, humidity, and, and really the outside weather environment um, outside of our barn. So in the summer, when it's really hot outside, we have curtains around the barn that will open up to allow fresh air to come right into the barn. Uh, we also have big fans in our barn that will turn on to, to move that fresh air through our barn to keep our cows cool. In the winter, the exact opposite happens. We want to keep as much warm air in here as possible. So the curtains will close and the fans will stay off and, and the warm air will stay here inside of our barn. So it's kind of like climate control that you have in your car or in your house. We have the same thing for our cows in their barn. Another piece of technology that we use on our farm uh, our activity monitors on, on all of our cows. If you look at our cows here on their feed bunk while they're eating, you'll see that they have a collar hanging around their neck. On that collar is a little plastic responder. That tracks the cow's movement throughout the day as well as the amount of time that they spend chewing their cud or ruminating. That little responder right there communicates with the computers that, that work with our robots. The responder is almost like a Fitbit for a cow. So we can go on our phone or on the computer in our barn and look at any of our cows' data, how much they've moved around in a day, how much time they've spent chewing their cud, when the last time is that they went and got milked. We can look at any of that information on our computer and help make decisions to best care for our cows. Right now I'm standing next to the panel that controls our alley scrapers. Uh, what our alley scrapers are, are a kind of like a V-shaped plow that slowly works its way uh, down through the alleys of our barn. It's hooked up to a chain uh, that runs on a drive wheel and it'll run throughout the day and slowly push the manure down through the barn to clean off the alleys where the cows stand. Uh, what this does is it help keeps the, the cows flooring that they stand on clean throughout the day. It also allows us to not have to run a piece of equipment down through the barn, chase all the cows out every time that we need to clean up the alleys that they stand on. 
So again, it's, it's a piece of technology that we can utilize to, to park a piece of our equipment uh, so we're not running, burning up diesel fuel, uh, letting off more emissions, things like that. And it allows the cows to be more comfortable throughout the day as well. They get used to it, they step right over it. We don't actually have to go into the barn and chase them out of the area in order to clean the alleys anymore. Right now I'm standing next to one of our four robotic milking machines. Uh, this is where the cows get milked in our, in our barn. The cows can walk in here on their own anytime around the clock. 12 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the cows have access to the robots here. What kind of is their incentive, uh, serves as their incentive for them to come in and get milk is they receive a special pellet um, every time that they come in to get milked here. It's almost like a candy uh, for them to enjoy while they're getting milk. So they learn to come in, they get milk, they can have that treat, and then they get sent out on their way. What happens when a cow gets milked is she walks into this machine, um, it'll read that responder that's on her collar that we talked about before, uh, that Fitbit. Um, it'll read it in here, recognize what cow it is. It'll then determine whether or not she has permission to get milked or not. If she had just gotten milked a couple hours ago, the gates will open up, it'll kick her back out with the main herd. If she hasn't gotten milked in seven, eight, nine hours, it'll begin preparing her to get her milk. The first thing that happens is a brush arm will go in and clean off each of her teats two times. After the teats are cleaned off, the lasers that are on the robots will start scanning to try and find her teats. Once they find her teat location, the milk cups will attach to each teat individually. As all of that's happening, she is standing there eating, just hanging out. Uh, once each quarter, each, each teat is milked out, the milk cups will detach. She'll get a disinfectant sprayed on the end of her teat and the robot will kick her out, send her on her way for her to do whatever else she wants after that. So the cows really get to determine when they come and get milked, um, how often they come and get milked, all that is up to them. Our cows average getting milked uh, three times a day, so about every eight hours. And we have four robotic milking machines in here that milk 220 cows in this barn. Since we use the robots to milk the cows and we, the robots interface with their collars, we are able to obtain a lot more data on the cows that, that we wouldn't be able to obtain if we did not have these machines. For instance, the robot will tell us how long it expects for the cow to be in the milking robot based off of how long they were in there or their other visits. It also allows us to detect certain health issues that a cow might be having a lot sooner than what we normally would be able to in a parlor. One thing with cows getting milked by a robot is the exact same process happens every single time. In a barn or in a, in, in a traditional barn with a parlor, if you have different people milking a cow, you try and make that process as similar and, and as consistent as possible every single time. But there always is a little bit of variation. With the robots, the cow's milking experience is the exact same every single time. And that's great for the cow. They know that when they walk into the robot, it's gonna be the exact same for them every single time. And cows like predictability. They want to know that every time they walk in there, there's not going to be any surprises, any unique things happening. It's going to be a similar experience as the last time that they went in there and got milk. Thanks for tuning in to Fun on the Farm. If you want to follow along with us on social media, we are on Facebook. Look us up at Kirtland Farms. And then also on Instagram, uh, you can look us up at Kirtland Farms there as well and tune in to, to find out what we're doing day to day on our farm. Thanks a lot for tuning in, seeing how we use technology to take care of our farm, our cows, and our land. Have a great day.